Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplify. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and uh, subscribing to this channel. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to show you how you can restrict traffic to your backend pool, the one that we created in our last video. So if you remember, in our last video on Application Gateway, we configured the web application firewall in it. We added two uh, web apps in the backend pool with the name Web App 1 and Web App 2 and we also configure the health probes. Now, what happens is that because when we talk about web apps, right, there is a public endpoint which is created. And uh, what we want is that uh, any user who is trying to access this, uh, uh, this uh, website, they should not be able to go directly to my web apps, right? All the traffic should fall uh, should go through this uh, web application firewall and uh, they should not be able to reach the web apps in the back and pull directly. That is the whole idea about uh, application gateway with WAF enabled. So let me just quickly show you. So if you see right now, nothing has changed. If I pick my application gateway front end IP and go, you can see I can reach. So everything is working fine. And if I go directly to my app services, which are in the backend pool, and if I grab this URL, I can also reach that same page, right? So that I would don't want to happen. So I want to block that. So everything uh, flows through my web application firewall. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I will go to my app services back so these are the two uh, app services I have in the back and forth. So let's open this and uh, I will go to the networking tab. And under networking, you see I have this option of access restriction. So let me just go to click configure access restriction. Let's go and add a rule. And you can just give any name you want. We'll do rule one. You can give a priority type. I will put the virtual network and this will be the virtual network of my application gateway, right? So remember uh, when we created that application gateway, we have to put that in a virtual network and the subnet, I will add this rule. All right, so that rule was added successfully and I will do the same thing for my other web app. Click on that rule. All right, so both the rules were added successfully. So now let me just go and test this now. So first I will go and test with my application gateway front end IP. Right, I'm able to reach it. Now let me just go and pick the app services directly, right? If I'm able to reach or not. So let me just go and grab this. Copy. And let's see if I'm able to. So you can see I got the error. So in this way, uh, this will make sure that everything is flowing through my web application firewall and uh, via application gateway. And we have a uh, prevented direct access to our web app. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.